In this video, I'll show you how to play Mouth Breather by the Jesus Lizard off their GOAT record. But before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe on YouTube. I'll be posting new videos each week. And if you'd like to, uh, click the join button below to become a member. And for 99 cents a month, you can vote on the next video I do each week. And there's other perks too. And leave a comment. Let me know what you like and what you don't like and what you want to see next time. And then also, as always, there's a link to the tab for this uh, song in the description. So check that out. And here we go. All right, so this song is basically just one riff repeating. And it moves um, into different uh, chord formations um, a couple different times. But it's essentially just one riff. And the riff is based on a power chord. It starts off with a C power chord. And it's a three note power chord. Uh, again, the, the, or the song is in standard tuning. Um, so it starts with the C power chord. And then there's gonna be a couple transitions that you do within the riff. And, uh, but first I'll play it through and then I'll break it down. Basically, that's the riff twice, um, and it just kind of repeats like that throughout the song. So, what you're going to do is you're going to start off with a three note power chord. I like to play it with just my index finger and my ring finger, but some people like to play it with their index finger and their pinky finger like this. And you can play it both ways. Um, and so, uh, slowly it goes like this. And then it repeats. Um, so breaking it down, you're going to play the power chord, the standard power chord form twice. And then you're going to re release your ring finger and play this three note chord um, that's basically just the third fret. And then you're going to do a similar and then slide up a half a fret or a half a step, one fret. So, then you're going to descend again. So, slowly again. And I like to use alternate picking on this because it's pretty fast. So that's it for the main riff, and then after it plays that several times, there's this pause, and right before the pause, you're going to play that just beginning part of the riff. And then it pauses, there's some drums and vocals. And then it plays that, that main riff again uh, several times, and then you're basically going to move down to the, a power chord with your index finger rooted on the 4th fret of the, lower, of the low E string and you're going to play the same riff. And you can do that twice. So again, same thing. And then you're going to move down to the first fret, so this is basically an F power chord, uh, the first, with your index finger rooted on the first fret of the low E string, and do the same thing. So again, so you're going to do each one twice, and then it goes back to the main riff, and then it repeats throughout through the song one time, doing that whole transition. So um, that the second part, second and third part, again, all the way through goes like this. And that's it for the song. Again, it's real simple, but it shows you um, you can do a lot with just like a single power chord. And um, a, a cool thing that's done in a lot of rock and 
alternative and punk songs is you know pulling off your your fingers from to to do a different form of chord. And um, you can even use that two note part of the chord instead of playing the root note. Like um, and, and so there's a lot of different options, but something to think about in your playing is, is being able to remove that that ring finger and do those make those kind of cool uh, different sounds with the chords um, and you can even like play with it rhythm. So again, um, that's it for this one. I hope you liked the lesson. Remember to like and subscribe, and if you want to become a member for 99 cents a month, you can vote on the next song that I do, and leave a comment. Um, let me know what you like, what you don't like about the video, and check out the tab. There's a link in the description, and I will see you guys next time.